So what are we going in here to get today, Miss Coles? What do you need? Covered. We're getting you some bike gloves. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> I think so. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Big giant purchase here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Alright, so what did we uh, end up with here? This cool. So we got some gloves. Oh, we got the rib tape. Two rolls. Why did we get two rolls? We're gonna do two layers. That's why. Two layers of tape on the on on each wheel. Just because the, the tubes push into the spoke holes if they're you know if it's too thin. I've noticed the spoke the although at lower pressures I've had less problems with this, but in the past when I was running I think 700 by 32s, mm -hmm. I would still inflate them to like. I remember it was like 70 psi and i would get the occasional oh, okay. tube pushing through the spoke hole when i ran one row one layer of, of tubeless tape i mean i could just set them up tubeless I could do that so what was the question is it like is it kind of like how you use it like the double mask thing you just double up on things it makes it say safer. double the safety you know, maybe it's worth mentioning. Why don't we just run tubeless? Why don't we like tubeless, Miss Cools? What's our What's our thinking here on tubeless? Uh, mine might be different than yours. I'm just too lazy. Is it laziness? Yeah. I think for me, it's I like to switch around tires too much, and I don't like when I have to take the tubeless apart and then I have to redo the whole thing again. Mm -hmm. And then once the tubeless tires stretch, they don't ever, it's so much harder to get them back on and seat it again. Yeah. So then you end up having to run tubes anyway. I don't have the, I could build a bunch of wheels and just have one set of wheels for each tire, but, but then I have a dynamo hub. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm not gonna buy a dynamo hub for every wheel set just so I could run different tires, set up tubeless. So for me, it's just a matter of the, the convenience of tubes. Yeah. But I do like tubeless. I, I like the fact that the wheels are just a tiny bit lighter. You know, the tubes yeah. weigh, these big tubes, like this one's 700 or 650 by uh, 35 to 43. This probably weighs 150 grams. And I know I'm not putting 150 grams of sealant in, at least I don't think. But it's possible. Yeah. yeah? Is there more? <laughs> there probably is. Okay, what else do we need to do now? Mm -hmm. We're taking everyone on us on our shopping trip okay. to town. <laughs> <laughs> this is such good it's content. Exciting. <laughs> this is high quality. Okay, uh, yeah, so what, what do we need to do next? We need to get a few groceries. Let's go. Loon, you ready? You want some groceries? We gotta get some, do we need some dog food? Um, not if we're, uh... Um... Luna, speak. <laughs> speak. Not if we're, uh... Oh, oh. Oh. Speak. Wow, she actually did. She will. I'm gonna speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, we're at our next stop here. And uh, 
We're gonna try out a new dog food for the loon. She wants to go on a... She looks just like this picture. She wants to get on a vegetarian diet. So we're gonna try a vegetarian diet. So this is all chicken and brown rice. Limited ingredient. Turkey is sweet potato. Duck and oatmeal. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna just try it out. Yeah. Cool. Oh, very sweet. Oh, this is actually a vegan formula. Let's just do a small bag and then that way we'll see. Okay. It's only uh, $13, so. Yeah, let's see how she does. All right. So, we just made it back. Our last stop at the store was at the uh, grocery store. And we do like to buy a lot of fruits. So we have pears and oranges. I got a grabbed a couple of peaches. I don't think they're going to be ready yet, but I went ahead and got a couple just to test them out before I start buying big bulk supply of them. We got some bananas here. That's our, you know, our main staple is probably bananas and apples. Uh, we got a bunch of apples down here and then these are a, a couple of different types of sweet potatoes. I usually mix up sweet potatoes with regular potatoes. I like the yellow and the red potatoes a lot but I'm a big fan of sweet potatoes. I eat sweet potatoes at least two or three times a week. And we're actually gonna go ahead and cook some up here. This is our garden. It's uh, just getting started. All right, so over here, we have uh, some lettuce starts going. We have some strawberries that are doing pretty well from last year. Over in this box, we have our tomatoes. Again, tomatoes need a lot of room, so it's cool to spread these out nicely, get some good room. And then over there, we're building, we're gonna be building some more boxes for the strawberries, hopefully this year. Well, I was thinking about a bike ride today, just a short one, you know, since we've kind of spent a lot of time doing all the shopping and what do you think? That, that would feel good. Yeah, we should go on a little ride. Where should we go, do you think? Well, I was thinking just do our short loop, our typical short loop, but it's Sunday and the traffic going south can be a little intimidating in the afternoon. Yeah. But maybe everyone. we can squeeze through, just get there, you know, get in and get out before anyone notices us. Yeah. All right. We'll try it and see how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be nice. It's clear and it's kind of nice out today. It should be beautiful out there. All right. Well, let's try it. Okay. Let's go.